Very good. It is a picture of a hen. Can you tell me what is the color of the hen? Perfect. The color of the hen is red. Today, I'll be reading you a story about a little red hen. Read the story with me. The Little Red Hen So when a time, there was a little red hen that lived on a farm. She was friends with a lazy dog, a sleepy cat, and a noisy yellow duck. One day, the little red hen found some seeds in the ground. The little red hen had an idea. She would plant the seeds. The little red hen asked her friends, Who will help me plant the seeds? Not I, barked the lazy dog. Not I, purred the sleepy cat. Not I, said the noisy yellow duck. Then I will, said the little red hen. The little red hen planted the seeds all by herself. When the seeds had grown, the little red hen asked her friends, Who will help me cut the wheat? Not I, barked the lazy dog. Not I, poor the sleepy cat. Walked the noisy yellow duck. Then I will, said the little red hen. So the little red hen cut the wheat all by herself. When all the wheat was cut, the little red hen asked her friends, Who will, who will help me take the wheat to the mill? To the ground into flour. Not I, barked the lazy dog. Not I, poor the sleepy cat. Not I, walked the noisy yellow duck. Then I will, said the little red hen. So the little red hen brought the wit to the meal all by yourself. Ground the wheat to flour and carry the heavy sack of flour to the farm. The tired little red hen asked her friends, Who will help me bake the bread? Not I, barked the lazy dog. Not I, poor the sleepy cat. Not I, walked the noisy yellow duck. Then I will, said the little red hen. So the little red hen baked the bread all by herself. This time, we are going to describe the character and the setting of the story. Character plays an important role. They could be people, animals, or anything that talking in the story. Now tell me what are the characters in the story? Very good. The little red hen, the lazy dog. The sleepy cat and the noisy yellow duck. The setting is where and when the story happens, or simply the place and time in the story. Now, where did the story happen? Excellent! It happens in the farm where animals 
across there. What did the hen feel when nobody helped her? Right, she felt sad. If you are the hen's friend, what will you do? Are you going to help little red hen? Very good. We should help our friend that needs help. Remember children, stories have character and setting. Let's list down the characters in the story. Ken. Dog, cat, and duck. Now, let's describe each character in the story. Let's start with hen. How are you going to describe the hen based from the story? Correct! You tell Red. These words are what we call descriptive words or adjectives. Remember that adjective is used to describe a noun or a pronoun. Little, red, hen. Let's arrange this. Little, red, hen. This is what we call Descriptive phrase. Read after me. Little red hen. Now, what are the other characters in the story aside from hen? Very good. We have the dog, cat, and the duck. Now, let's describe each character in the story. How are you going to describe the dog? Very good! Lazy dog! How about the cat? Correct! Sleepy cat! And the last one is we have the duck. Correct! Noisy yellow duck! Now let's recall the descriptive phrases that we have a while ago. Little red hen. Lazy dog. Sleepy cat. Noisy yellow duck. Now everybody read. Little red hen. Lazy dog, sleepy cat, noisy yellow duck. Now let's go back to our story. What is the city for where did the story happen? Correct, it happened in the farm. Now let's make a sentence using the descriptive phrases that we had a while ago. The little red hen, lazy dog, sleepy cat, and noisy yellow duck live in a farm. Now read after me. The little red hen, lazy dog, sleepy cat, and noisy yellow duck lived in a farm. This is what we call the descriptive sentence. Going back, what did the little red hen found one sunny morning? Very good. 
One sunny morning, the little red hen found some seeds on the ground and asked the help of her friends. What did her friends do? Yes, the lazy dog, sleepy cat, and noisy yellow dog did not help her. So what happened next? Alright, the little red hen do the work all by herself. Very good! This time, we will be writing a descriptive paragraph about characters or a setting in a story. But what is a descriptive paragraph? A descriptive paragraph is a group of sentences that describes a person, thing, or place. In writing a descriptive paragraph, we must follow these steps. Step 1. Choose a title of your story. Remember that all the beginning letters of each word should be written in capital or B letters. Like this. Step 2. Put a margin on both sides to know where to start and stop in writing the sentences of the paragraph. should be indented and should be written in capital or big letter. Step 4. Keep in mind that each sentence should end with the correct punctuation mark such as period, question mark, and exclamation point. Step 5. Your handwriting should be neat and clean. Avoid erasures. Now let's go back to your answers a while ago. Let's try to make a descriptive paragraph out of your answers. The little red hen, lazy dog, sleepy cat, and noisy yellow duck lived in the park. One sunny morning, the little red hen found some seeds in the ground and asked the help of her friends. The lazy dog, sleepy cat, and noisy yellow duck did not help the little red hen. So, the little red hen do the work all by herself. Let's follow the steps in writing a descriptive paragraph. First, write the title of your story. What is the title of your story? Very good! The Little Red Hen. Remember that in writing the title of the story, all the beginning letters of the words should be written in B or in capital letters, like this. this. Next, put a margin on both sides. Third, indent the first letter of the sentence in the paragraph. Keep in mind that the first letter should be written in B or in capital letters. Next, each sentence should end with the correct punctuation mark like this. Lastly, 
Avoid erasures to make your work neat and clean. Remember this. We use descriptive words to describe people, animals, or place. The one talking to the story are called the characters. Where and when the story took place is the setting. Keep in mind that a descriptive paragraph are a group of sentences that describes people, animals, or place. To write a descriptive paragraph, follow the standards in writing the descriptive paragraph. Now, listen to the story of the ant and the grasshopper. From the story you have listened, choose your favorite character and write a descriptive paragraph about the character following the rules in writing the descriptive paragraph. Now that you have learned about the descriptive paragraph and finished all the activity, how do you feel? Awesome! You can now answer the other activities in your movie. Again, it's me, Teacher Emmy, saying you have two hands. First, to help yourself. The second is to help others. And remember, focus in learning, not in grades.